Hello learners, I hope you will be doing good. In this video, we will study thalassemia, which is an example of autosome recessive disorder. As I said, it is an example of autosome recessive disorder. That means this is also a genetic disorder. Means a child suffers from this disease since birth and these are non-curable diseases because each body cell of the individual is affected. Now autosomal recessive disorders are the one in which there is some problem in the autosomes maybe a particular gene has not been synthesized or a part of the gene has been deleted it may happen like that now the person who is affected from thalassemia if that individual is a female then that individual has to carry two recessive alleles because we are talking about thalassemia thus i have taken two recessive alleles as small t small t you will never ever show the thalassemia disorder on the sex chromosomes like this this is totally incorrect because this is an example of autosomal recessive disorder so simply you will be taking recessive alleles or genes to show the condition males also will show the similar type of defective alleles so in males also it will be let's understand what is thalassemia now you know that hemoglobin is there in the rbc and hemoglobin it exhibits quaternary structure of a protein quaternary structure means it has four polypeptides now if any protein is made up of more than one polypeptide then it exhibits quaternary structure whereas if a protein contains only one polypeptide then that can exhibit primary secondary or tertiary structure so hemoglobin comes in the category of quaternary structure hemoglobin is made up of four chains as i said and these four chains are alpha 1 or we can also say them as alpha dash or the second chain could be known as alpha 2 it can also be known as alpha cap and beta 1 and beta 2 so these are the four polypeptides which are present in the hemoglobin structure basically this disorder arises due to mutation or deletion in the chromosomes and we will be talking about chromosome number 16 and chromosome number 11 in this case so if you have not watched my video on mutation wherein i have described about deletion please watch it it will be helpful to you now as i have written two chromosomes that means thalassemia is of two types it could be a dash or it could be a cap thalassemia so a dash or a cap thalassemia right now when the problem arises in the chromosome number 16 then it is a dash and if the problem arises in chromosome number 11 it is a cap now again and again we are saying the word problem what is the actual problem here mutation or deletion happens in chromosome number 16 or it may happen in chromosome number 11 if a person is suffering from thalassemia so what happens is that in the case of a dash thalassemia mutation or deletion specifically happens in chromosome number 16 whereas in a cap thalassemia mutation or deletion happens in chromosome number 11 the genes are also going to be different in a dash thalassemia 
the genes which are going to be affected are HBA1 or HBA2. Mutation can happen in either one allele or in all the alleles. See here. So this is the chromosome and you know that chromosomes we are talking about 16th chromosome which comes in the category of autosomes and they occur as homologous chromosomes. Suppose this is the gene HBA1 which I have shown with red and this is the gene HB2 which is there on the other end of the chromatid. Now you know that alternative expression of a gene is known as allele right so this is our hba1 one allele and this is the other allele of the gene and similarly here hba2 allele is there on one chromosome and at the same locus on the another chromosome we have hba2 now problem can arise either on one allele means mutation or deletion can happen in this or it may happen in all the four what would be the effect the alpha dash globin chain would be synthesized in a very lesser amount overall the production of hemoglobin will be affected means hemoglobin level in the body will be less and whenever hemoglobin will be less in the body this will cause a symptom which is known as anemia anemia refers to the scarcity of hemoglobin in the blood which ultimately causes so many symptoms like a person becomes breathless the general stamina of the body is very low because hemoglobin is low so oxygen carrying capacity will also be low so all the things are correlated right so if problem arises in one allele or on all the four alleles located on chromosome number 16 then it gives rise to a dash thalassemia now let's come on to the another one the another type of thalassemia is a cap thalassemia i made the structure as this one was a dash this one as alpha cap and this one was beta 1 and this chain was beta 2 now if deletion happens in this chain which is located on chromosome number 11 means the allele for this is located on chromosome number 11 if deletion happens on it then it gives rise to alpha dash thalassemia so in the case of chromosome number 11 which again comes in a category of autosomes there are alleles on it and these are hbb that means the alleles in the case of a dash and a cap they are going to be different here also same thing will be applied the problem may arise either in one allele or it may arise in both the alleles means deletion can happen at one allele or it may happen in both the alleles located on chromosome number 11 again this alpha cap chain will not be produced as a result what will happen the hemoglobin level will be less in the blood and ultimately the person will suffer from anemia right so if you have not watched my video on sickle cell anemia do watch it because there i have explained how actually sickle cell anemia is caused and how are the various genotypes shown do like share and subscribe my channel don't forget to press the bell icon for the recent updates now if you compare thalassemia with the sickle cell anemia we use one symptom in common for both the diseases and what was the symptom yes it was anemia 
so sickle cell anemia and thalassemia major symptom in these disorders is thalassemia but sickle cell anemia is a disorder which is qualitative means the quality of the rbc is not good because of the mutation in the because of the point mutation in the hemoglobin chain whereas in the thalassemia it is a quantitative disorder means it will affect the quantity it will affect the amount of hemoglobin in the blood you know that the hemoglobin level should be adequate in the body if it goes less then it causes less stamina breathlessness in the body and overall a person feels very tiring whole day the overall possible solution for thalassemia till date is the transfusion of blood which however in long run it's not very much beneficial because the chances of infection are higher even liver gets affected every time when transfusion happens the inheritance of thalassemia and sickle cell anemia is same i have taken a separate problem on sickle cell anemia the inheritance for thalassemia would be same as that example so how are you liking my videos do mention in the comment section and if you have any problem which you want me to answer please leave a comment i will get back to you as soon as possible hope these are enjoyable videos and you are understanding everything stay tuned for more videos thank you